These are a couple acronyms that you may see when you're out and about aviating. The first one stands for Land and Hold Short Operations, and the second one stands for Low Level Wind Shear Alert System. Now, you may be given these from the flight service station, the briefer, or it may be on the ATIS, it could be in the chart supplement book under the airport information, or ATC may give this. So, for an example, when you listen to the ATIS at a particular airport, um, at the end of the ATIS in the remarks section, they may something, say something like low level wind shear uh, advisory in effect. Or they may say when you talk to ATC, they may say that there's land and hold short operations in effect. So what are land and hold short operations? What they're asking you to do is land and hold short of something. It could be the, another runway, it could be a taxiway, but either way, let's say you've received these instructions, that you're cleared to land runway one, hold short 1028. They're expecting you to be able to land and stop your aircraft prior to crossing this runway or entering that runway environment. Now what happens if you feel like you're not sure that you can control and stop your aircraft in that amount of time? Well, tell them you're unable. Don't accept the land and hold short operations unless you're sure you can comply with it. Now, um, student pilots should never accept land and hold short operations, and often the airliners may not um, accept the uh, land and hold short operations, or it could be you know, very specific circumstances. Now, land and uh, the low-level wind shear alert system, what this is, is uh, could be equipment on the field at the larger airports that actually detect wind shear. Uh, maybe there's a thunderstorm um, in the vicinity and the thunderstorm has created a strong microburst and the equipment detects this, this wind shear. Remember, wind shear is a drastic change or a sudden change in wind velocity and or direction. So they're just, it's a way to alert the pilots that you're going to potentially have some pretty bad wind shear on your arrival. So again, land and hold short operations and low level wind shear alerting system. Now one other thing is if you're looking at an airport diagram or you're looking in the chart supplement for the airport, you may see this little symbol and what this symbol is telling you is that the declared distance for a land and hold short operation can be found in the chart supplement book. So for example, if this runway, runway one is 6,000 feet long, and I saw this symbol on the uh, taxi diagram, then I can look in the chart supplement, and it may tell me that from the approach end of runway one to the 10 to 8 runway may exist uh, 3,800 feet that I could use for landing. So the little negative symbology D symbol just means that the declared distance for landing on a hold short is published in the chart supplement book.